fart. So Devin, it was four years ago that you got into the ring in Anaheim, California, challenged Ryan Garcia. You gotta be me to become champ. Right? You gotta be me to become champ. I'll get to you. I'll get to you. Let's make it happen. I'll get to you. Make it happen. Let's get that ready. Let's go. I'm turned up. I'm turned up. How are you feeling now that it's finally here? You know, I'm really loud. You know, I thank Allah for it. Time has finally come, and uh, you know, then we didn't see, you know, uh, it, be, it being able to get bigger than than what it was then. But now the fight is even bigger and uh, much more at stake. So. Uh, you know, the, the time is now. A lot has changed since then. You are now a undisputed world champion, a two division world champion. How much better former, are you? Former undisputed. Former undisputed, but I'm just giving you the credit for, for that, being undisputed world champion. But how much better are you right now than the man that hopped in that ring four years ago? levels above of, of that guy, you know. At that time, you know, I thought I was the, the best thing, you know, out, the best thing smoking. And, uh, you know, uh, I would, you know, kill that guy then. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm levels above. You faced Regis Progre this past December, and Regis came into that fight an accomplished guy, arguably the top man at 140 pounds. And it was about as lopsided as it could possibly get. <laughs> It was everything, everything I said in that face-off with me, you, and him, I said I was going to do. I was going to get to that, but since you, you bring it up, you did. You said you were going to hurt him. And you said, now this is what I remember vividly, you said, Regis, after this fight, you're going to be saying, I'm a great fighter. And sure enough, in the ring, right after the fight, he said, you're a great fighter. That mother he better than what I thought, not going to lie. I'm going to give him credit. I'm going to give Bill credit. I'm going to give Team Handy credit. Ryan Garcia won't be no different. He's gonna say, Bro, I knew you were a great fighter. Cause he knows that. He knows the, the, the level that I'm on. He knows what I bring to the table. We heard him say this before. Ryan Garcia has known me since I was 10 years old, 11 years old. So he knows what type of fighter that I am. So he can say what he wanna say. We know that he's gonna, he's gonna bark. He's gonna downplay me, the type of fighter that I am. But uh, after April 20th, he's gonna say, I knew how great he was. You mentioned how long you guys have known each other. When was the first time that you heard the name Ryan Garcia? The first time I ever heard of Ryan Garcia, I was on YouTube just looking up like, you know, like like the, the amateur circuit, the guys, you know, silver gloves, like, you know, around mm -hmm. around that time. And um, that's when I seen the name Ryan Garcia. And uh, then I ended up fighting him. My, our first fight was at the Junior Golden Gloves. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about that fight? I didn't have that many fights. Um, didn't have much experience. And Ryan Garcia had a lot of experience and he had a big following. You know, the, the Latinos and, you know, we fought in Mesquite, so all that, but it was, it was the, the, the whole region, they, they knew Ryan Garcia. So they, they were going crazy for him, but I didn't know. And so they were like, they, nobody knew me. No, they thought he was gonna just blow me out the water. And uh, it was a good fight. Ryan won the fight. So that's when I like really like, it woke me up to, to you know, the, the amateur boxing scene. People started to know me. People started to like, oh, okay, that was a guy that, I put up a great fight. Like nobody, like I said, they expected me, they expected him to, to blow me out. And they were like, oh, okay, that's the guy that fought Ryan Garcia, he's good, da 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 da. And um, it's, the rest was history after that. We fought, you know, five more times after that one. To be real with you though, Ryan won when we were little kids uh, because he just had the experience. And um, when we got older, I put it on him, especially the last fight. What happened in the last fight? I gave him an eight count. I gave him an eight count. I beat the shit out of him. Do you remember thinking, even then, when you're 16 years old, like, we're gonna see each other in the pros someday? You know, I mean, so many kids that was good in the amateurs that just turned out to not even be nothing in the pros. So, you know, you don't really know. You don't really know. Is he the most dangerous fighter that you've faced up until this point? You know, Ryan Garcia has power, of course. But Regis Progress had power too. Lenars had power. A lot of these guys have had, you know, power. It's, I'm just on a different level. Uh, so, you know, he could bring all the power that he wants. I'm going to bring the skills and the, the, the IQ that I got and uh, show him, handicap him of his power like I do. You do have a, a ability through your skills and the preparation you put in with the people on your team to take away the best weapon 
that an opponent has. Regis Progra didn't land any left hands of consequence on you back in December. How, how challenging do you think it's going to be to stay away from the left hand of Ryan Garcia? When I set out to, to do something, if I don't want to get hit, I'm not going to get hit. I'm, I'm a handicap, Ryan. You know, uh, he going to fight with, you know, uh, both arms behind his back. Not one, but both. Your dad said this fight has become personal over the last few weeks. Yeah. Would you agree with that? You know, he crossed the line. He, 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 he said some stuff that, uh, that, just, that just wasn't right. The, one of the main things that, that he said that, that I just, I can't is that you know, he, sp he spoke on my religion. You know, uh, you know it's, it's boxing, you, you can say what you want to say, but he know what he said about my religion. What was it he said that? He know what he said. Was this to you directly or something on social media? No. He, he said it to somebody and, and, and it got back to me. The face off you guys had in Las Vegas. Um, I think a lot of people were surprised it got as heated as it did because it felt like for a long time, even though you guys were adversaries, that you were friends. Was that fair to say? No, I mean, you know, we, we were rivals since, since young kids. Um, you know, it was, you know, somewhat mutual respect at a point, but all that respect go out the door now. And, you know, it's, it's, it's personal. It's, it's no longer friends. And, you know, these guys, they, they talk this talk, and then after they want to hug and, you know, talk about, oh, it was just this, it was just that, but he crossed the line. And after this, it's none of that. We don't, we, me and Ryan Garcia don't never got to, you know, talk again. We're, and and it's, it's, it's not, you know, I, and I know once he loses, once I make an example out of him, he's going to come, he's going to try to say all that. But no, nah, let's, let's leave it at what it is now. So when this fight ends, if you win, or let's say in the same way you win or won against Regis Progre, there won't be the traditional kind of, hey, big hug, handshake, nah, that kind of stuff? No. Nah. All because of what he said that got back to you? Yes. For the last few years, you've been the more accomplished of the two guys. You've won the world titles. You've won in multiple divisions. His star has risen a different way, uh, where he's you know, fought a big pay-per-view against Gervonta Davis. What have you thought as kind of his star has risen opposite of yours? It's pretty much... Been been the same. His biggest fight was Germante. You know that was that was that was only his you know fight that was bigger than mine. It was it's nothing else. Everything has been you know it, it aligned. Is this a difficult fight for you? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna make it as as easy as possible. Like I said, handicap him and uh, you know make this guy look ordinary like he really is. It feels like your confidence grows every single fight when we talk. Going back to. The Jojo Diaz fight. I remember sitting there when you and Jojo were opposite each other and said, you better not disrespect me. You better know what you're getting in with. You won that fight, controlled that fight. Really, ever since then, it feels like I've seen your confidence growing. Is that fair to say? I mean, that's what happens when you're in big fights. You know, you get that experience and you, you gain confidence, you gain momentum. So, of course. Well, Devin, we'll see you April 20th, live on the zone. See you there.